So welcome back to the workshop. Last time around, we got all the valves and the eccentrics all set ready. But before we can try it on air, we need to get the cylinder covers back on and the steam pipes in and all of that malarkey. So, the cover for the steam chest has been cleaned up. I've already done one. Uh, first of all, it wants a gasket and then I'll put some gunk on it as well. So, first things first, let's go and knock one out. Uh, don't know if you want to come and watch what I'm doing. Let's go. So first things first, I'm going to put the cover into the vise like that. I have some card which was given to me. I'm assured it's very good for gaskets. And we're going to knock one out of this. So, as it's a square cover, I'm going to try and line it up with the corner of the paper. And then, we just, with a ball pane hammer, using the flat end, just tap along the edge. And you probably can't see very well from your side, but we are opening up and basically cutting the gasket material with the side of the against the edge of the uh, cover. That's the easy bit done. Now we use the ball end. and tap inside the bolt holes. Let's get you a better view. So I'm just going to use the this little screwdriver to locate uh, that might go in there. No, that doesn't quite fit. I haven't got a second. Where's that going? Yeah. So they will just locate the bit of card. I can look underneath if I need to. can see they gradually start to appear. These things do get a lot harder when I'm trying to demonstrate them to a camera. So if this doesn't actually fit, I might have to make another one off camera. There we go. So that's one gasket, almost complete. But the eagle eyed might notice the steam needs to get in. So that's where the steam pipe comes through the front of the cylinder, but the old gasket was probably cut something like that, which I will do again as it happens. 
no other reason than if I don't do that, if a bit of steam gets behind here, it could end up rusting the cover um, because the water could get trapped behind there and rust the cylinder cover. Which shouldn't be a problem because it's nice thick cover, but it's not ideal. So like I say, first things first, we'll just try that in place and it fits. And I'm just going to rub my finger along the joint, the edge of the inside of the valve chest. Hopefully that will show us where the valve chest is. There you go. I've got a line where the valve chest is, so I'm going to cut that out with a knife and then fit it. So with the casket cut out, I'm going to put some gunk on the cylinder side of the gasket, going around every hole as we go. Now hopefully that's a lot more than it needs, but I'd rather have more than it needs and over seal it than under seal it. So that's going to go into the cover. And then I do the same on the on the cover. A couple of bits of muck on there. masses of excess it's only quite a thin bead it spreads out quite well this stuff so it's not actually that much but we'll get that on the engine then it's just a case of refitting all the uh, nuts and then it's all done I will give a word about this stuff. I forget it came from a friend. It's the Liqui Molly gasket maker. It puts up with the heat. Um, and it goes hard when it goes solid, when it dries. Um, I've used it on a couple of things. Seems to be all right. Um, I'd quite often use a thin seal of uh, silicon of some sort which I've always had plenty of success with some people say I shouldn't use silicon because if it breaks away being soft bits could come off of it and get stuck somewhere that you don't want them but like I say this stuff goes hard and you almost have to chisel it off um, to break it away from what it is so I'm going to get that all back together and then we'll come back soon so there we go, that is all assembled. The covers are on. I'm gonna let the stuff dry, go hard. I don't wanna put the steam pipe on in case I'm tempted to put air in it. Uh, but I will show you the steam pipe. There it is. Uh, the way it works, obviously that comes down from the smoke box. That goes in between and they screw, unscrew out of this block and go into the covers. Uh, both ways. I'm not overly fond on this design of steam pipe. I think it leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, it's very difficult to seal both, uh, but the 
better way would be a bolted flange onto each cover or a boss with a flange on. But again, I'm putting it back how it was. I'm not here to redesign the wheel. I'm here to sort out the bits I have sorted out. Maybe it's something that the owner may want to revisit in the future, but that's probably a, it'll be all right until I take it apart again type of thing. Um, as far as the exhaust is concerned, very similar affair but in between the two blocks. Again, if it was mine, I'd probably be considering doing something differently, trying to get a swept exhaust, get rid of the sharp corners for the exhaust passages. Uh, because as this one is, those two go together as a, as a T that then turns 90 degrees to go into this block and then turn 90 degrees again to come out the top of the block. I think that could all be done a lot nicer but that's not what I'm here to do. Um, I've done the basis of what I've been asked to do. Uh, there's a couple of bits I will tidy up while I'm here, but that's a bit of a redesign that takes a lot more thought. So, we'll be back shortly. When you next see me, I'll have all that together and I'll be ready to try it on air, hopefully. Right, I have put all that front end back together. Um, I blanked off the uh, lubricator inlet pipe, it's just a fitting, the clack is mid pipe somewhere. And I know it may seem like I've probably already done this, but I promise you I haven't. Uh, I am now putting this on air for the very first time since reassembling. Uh, let's start in forward and see what happens. I'm happy with that. So I would admit that probably is a slight issue with the timing, but I'm happy with that. And I'm happy with that, to be fair. It is very, very close to perfect, as far as I'm concerned. So, yes. Uh, next stages, finish off the lubricator and all that area, make sure the drain cocks are right. I think I've got some new different drain cocks I've been given to put on the thing. Uh, I'm not sure if they're bigger or smaller than the ones that are on there, but if you want them changed, I'll change them. I'll get all the linkage sorted and then we'll hopefully end up sending it back. I will see if he wants a smoke box put back on um, or if he wants to do that because he might want to repaint it. Uh, or I might see if I've got some smoke box paint around that I can put on there for him. But yes, for now, I am happy that that is good to go. Um, all that's left, as always, like, share, subscribe, tell me what you liked, tell me what you think I could have done differently. I'll never say what I did wrong because model engineering is a learning process. By doing it wrong, you're just doing creating a learning opportunity. Um, and there's always multiple ways of doing the same thing. So what some people consider wrong is just a different way of doing it. Um, none of us go into this deciding to do something the wrong way. When I find an engine, there's things that I think 
Why was it made like that? It could have been made so much better. It wasn't made wrong. It was made to the best of somebody's ability. Um, so yeah, tell me what you liked, tell me what you didn't. Please do come back, please do subscribe, and I will be back soon to discuss some other bits, and I've got an idea for the lubricator you might be interested in. So, thanks for watching, and I will be back soon. Thank <laughs> you.